Hello and welcome. Have you ever lost your password? Thought that you would remember it? Didn't write it down? Well, if that has happened to you, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to get the RoboForm Password Manager free, how to install it, the key features, and how it works. Hi, this is Rochelle, and for the people who don't know me, I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that will teach you not only how to do it, but the fastest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to do it. No more lost passwords. Stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to the video. Find the link below this video that says for link in video for cell. Click into it and here you can get your RoboForm free install. Open the RoboForm. If you have already created a RoboForm account, with your computer, you can log in. For the people who are creating an account, a new account on their cell, click create new account. Put your email in. Choose a master password and write it down. Repeat your master password. Create your account. Put your master password into your notepad or save it in your Google clipboard. Now you will notice when you go to your email, you will have an account creation notification and you want to confirm your account and you will also have form congratulations on creating a RoboForm account. Dear RoboForm user, you can now begin enjoying all the great benefits of RoboForm. We have also upgraded you to RoboForm everywhere for 30 days for free. Take advantage of premium features including unlimited devices, syncs, one-click logins, instant online form filling, emergency access, secure sharing, and 24-7 support. Put your master password in again. log in. Important point and place that will show you everything that you need to know about RoboForm. If you go to your browser and you are in your RoboForm browser and you are at your online RoboForm and you click on these three dots. Here you will see all of the different features and options that RoboForm has. Fill forms and it will bring up your logins and your identity and then you would just click on fill the form generate a password, save your login, save a bookmark, and that has just told me that RoboForm has just been syncing my data. As I created a new bookmark, it just 
synced it in with this device and all of the other devices that I have on the Roboform Everywhere. Make sure you are on your desktop page so that you can have a full view. So make sure your desktop page is clicked. This will give you a full computer view. And here is your history, all of the places that you have been with your Roboform. If you have created any downloads, or if you have printed anything, or if you want to print anything, if you are attached to a printer, you can also print out Roboform data. And when you click on sync, it will automatically sync all of your data to all of your devices where you are signed in with the same email. And if you go to your settings, you will see your account in which you can change your master password, backup and restore, or change your account or log out. If you change your account, you will lose all of your data. So don't change your account. If you have another account, then just click on the log out. General, it will say, how do you want the Roboform to open? A new Roboform tab. Or if you click in here, it can be all popular items, popular logins, pinned items or web browser. You can check your color scheme, light, dark, or system. And also your login, tap on login button or just log in. So do you want to show or do you just want to log in? And import passwords from Chrome. So in the Chrome menu, go to the setting, open the settings, and then it says tap on passwords and then tap export password passwords in the menu and then select import to Roboform. And you can do that later. Your security. This will have your lock on exit, the number of minutes or seconds that you would like to choose or hours. Auto lock time. So this is when it times out. I try to have it at the, the highest amount. Unlock the app by pin, by biometrics, by fingerprint, or by master password. I like the four digit pin. And auto log out. What this means is that it will automatically log itself completely out of your device at the time that you specify. And here I have one week. So this is a good idea now to copy your password, put it in a safe place so that you don't lose your data. And I have allowed to make screenshots. integration. You can fill forms in apps and browsers and also the native autofill in applications. The native and then here it has the search engine is Google. You can change it to Bing or Yahoo or DuckDuckGo. And I have desktop page, I have autofill, fill empty fields only, autosave login format uh, forms. And you can also look at these this is more advanced. It tells you no autosave for these sites, domain equivalents, or clear browsing data. And then start page. Here you can rearrange your items here that you have pinned just by
clicking on them and moving them around to where you would like to see them. And also you need to, if you rearrange your items, you need to save your changes. The contact us. And this is where you send in information to Roboform about something that is not working and the about. So this will tell you about your, your Roboform that you're using. And this is your files online. You can create logins with these files and you can also create identities, safe notes, shared with me, shared by me. And you can look at all of your files. If you click into one file, you will notice the pop-up box gets bigger. And here you can view your folder. You can <coughs> go to, you can rename, you can delete, and you can close just with this. But you can also move the file, copy the file, delete the file, create a new folder in the file, share your file, and you could share it with yourself. You could put your own you could put another, you can create a, a shared folder just by putting in the name and clicking OK. And here you can share this folder with a recipient. And if it's something that's really important, you can just send it to another one of your emails. Click refresh and it refreshes your data. So this is a file manager that you have online. When you go back to the start menu, this is your file manager that you have in your app that you downloaded in which you can see your pinned, you can see your logins, you can see your safe notes and you can see from A to Z. You have different views that you can look at. You could look at the icon view or you can look at the detailed view. Oops. Popular, recent, and A to Z. And any one of your logins, you can very easily just click and it's one click login. When you click this plus, you can add a login, a bookmark, identity, safe note, folder, or shared folder. To add a login, enter your, your domain or your app name. Say I'm enter entering Facebook. You will see Facebook coming up. And it will tell me this is what the name's going to be. So you can change the name. So you don't get confused because Facebook, you could have Facebook one, Facebook two, your email. And generate your password. Fill in. And here you see right there, it says you can pin or not pin. And here you can select a folder or you can add a new folder.
and then choose the check mark and RoboForm will automatically sync that as you just heard and then save your login so this is my login here I've created this login but this login does not have the right information yet because now I have to make sure that I have the right information for this login. I'm going to choose the fill forms and Oh, I forgot my password. This is an example of using Robiform. Okay, so send me a code. Continue. So zero th six one copy. And then continue. Hopefully that was the right code. Okay, so now I am gonna go to my not right now. I'm gonna go to my start menu to my tools, my password gen uh, generator, copy the password that was generated or I could choose generate another password and copy that password go back to my browser and add my password in so continue and then save my information. So that is one way of creating a very strong, secure login. The next way of creating a login is to go to your actual browser and look for something else say it's Pinterest just using that as an example Pinterest And where it says Pinterest login, say I wanted to sign up for a Pinterest, and I just wanted to continue with an email. So now I would. Go my three dots, fill form. I would look at my identity and fill the form. And then I would go to my start, into my tools, password gener a generator, generate a, a password, copy, back to my browser, and put the password in. 
and then click on continue and they're probably going to say that I already have an account or that the password is incorrect because I already have an account. So that would be one way. Now, it says the password was incorrect, so let's reset the password. Now they sent me an email, so I'm going to go to my email. And there is the Pinterest where it says reset my password. And I'm going to choose Roboform. Always to reset my password. Okay, so now it says to pick a new password. So I'm now going to go back into my tools into my password generator, generate another password, copy the password to my browser over to where it says new password and I'm going to paste the password in here, paste the password in here again and then change my password. Your password has been changed successfully. And I'm also going to save this in Roboform. And Roboform has automatically synced my information with my devices. So anytime you want to change your password, anytime you want to make your password stronger, or you just want to go to a place where you've already logged into. I'm going to go to my Roboform and I'm going to go into the, my start into my browser and I'm going to search for freebies. So here is Canada Freebies. Freebies.com. Okay, this is just an example. This is something that. Okay, so you see this right here where it says you want they want your name and your email address to become a member. Well, I would just go into either my fill form on the bottom here and click on my identity or I would go into my three dots into my fill form and I would also make sure the submit after fill is clicked and then I would click on fill form and become a member and now you see it's asked me more questions So I'm going to click on my fill form and now it's going to fill in these questions except for I see the birth date is not correct here. Right. Okay, so it's now filled in all of my information. And now I can click join now. Don't know what I just joined, but this was just an example of how easy it is to be able to use Roboform. Now Roboform would like to save my logins and yes. Okay, now another important thing and this is very important, is your identity. Okay, we're just gonna... Okay, so you want to have your name, for sure, right? Your name. And you want to have your country. Because they always ask you your name and your country. 
and also you can create a new folder and RoboForm will sync that. Let's check that. And also, do you want it pinned? So when you are ready, you can just create. And here you will see for your person, the most time they will ask you maybe your title. And they will ask you your name when you sign up for any form, for any type of application or you're signing into something, they will ask you your name and they probably will ask you your last name. And if you have a name su suffix, you can put your position in and you can put your phone number in. If there is a matching field for your phone number, it will come up. Your country code, your home phone number, your work phone number, your cell phone, fax, and your email. You can put your Skype ID and sometimes they do ask you what sex you are and your age, your birth date. So that is the day that you were born, the month that you were born, the day that you were born, and the year that you were born. Now this can save you a lot of time when you're doing, and sometimes they do ask you where you were born. This is all the information that you will need to fill in some applications and it will save you your time in doing it. You can also put in your driver's license and a note and then save. So that is the main identity. Okay, so now if we go back into identity, you will see that they also asked location. So you want to put the right information in because if you are filling out a form, you want to make sure that the information you have is correct. And they will probably will ask you your province and they will ask you your postal code. Whatever you're filling out, those are normal questions. And this will save you a lot of time and then save your information. Those are the two main parts of your identity that you would fill out. So now your identity is done. Whenever you go into your browser and say, I am continually looking for more freebies or freebies. Okay, so I am looking for more freebies. Of course, I wouldn't be actively doing this, but I'm just doing this for this video. Okay, so let's try this one. So now I have my RoboForm all set up. And so now I want to use my fill and my identity, fill the form that's located on this page. And then subscribe. No typing, no nothing. Everything is all done for me. And RoboForm just asked me if I wanted to save that login. If you get stuck, go and find the link for the RoboForm tutorials that I will leave in the description. And you can go through these tutorials. You can also look at the support. in which you can find more answers. Here are a lot of articles and also a lot of answers for you. Here is all of your information for Android and for iOS.
in that any time when you are logged in and see the resources for the Roboform Help Center, Roboform Manual, and online support system. I hope this video will be helpful to you when you are creating your first Roboform account. I think that I have covered everything that you need to know. However, if you do have any questions, you can look here in the Roboform Help Center or the Roboform Manual or the online support system. You can also leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If I do not have the answer for you, I will do the research and I will find the answer. So leave me a comment. It also creates engagement and will help your channel to grow. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.